Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and this is gonna be a really short video on how to open up a chart, as well as how to replace an existing contract on in a previously existing chart on the ATAS order flow platform. So you may have noticed, and at least it happened for me, the default of ATAS when it does first open up the very first time, it's gonna open with multiple chart types, um, multiple um, contracts applied to them, now, obviously, this is great. Um, they start you off with a couple different charts to work with. But of course, you'll likely need to either for one, open up a new chart with a different contract or two, you know, you want to customize something else or change the existing contracts on your chart here. ATAS makes it really easy. So to open up a new chart specifically, we're going to want to focus on this main hub here. Now, you obviously have quite a few different uh, charts you can open up from here. But we're going to open up a basic one. All we need to do is click on chart in the top left hand corner here. And then this will open up the instrument manager. Now, ATAS does give you quite a few different instruments here that you can choose from. You can and you're more than welcome to select from one of these. If you do need something specific, we can go into all instruments here and actually begin a search. Or you can use the filters down below to sort in sort out the different exchanges and choose an instrument from there. So the current trading month for the e mini S and P is going to be December. That's what we want to open up here. So we're going to type in ES, then we're going to do Z and then we're going to do nine. So that's going to be the December contract. We select it. And even when you do select that, it will show you all the available contract months. It's going to show you historical contracts as well that you can analyze off of. Once you have that ready, you can just simply click on open. And it did open in my second monitor here. And just to show you, here we have that new chart um, freshly from scratch here with the ESZ19. Now, of course, you may want to at some point change the contract on this chart or, you know, make some edits to some existing charts. It's really easy to do so. All you need to do in the top left hand corner is just click on this change instrument box right here. You can see it's represented with a little uh, magnifying glass. If you hover over it, it will say change instrument as well. So once we're hovering over that, it's the same process as before. Left click, show the different contracts here. This time, let's select from one of our favorites. And I didn't mention before, but if you find a product in here, for example, let's say light crude oil, we highlight that on our little section, the column over here on the right hand side. We can left click add to favorites. And now you'll see it'll add that right here. But for this one, let's do the Dow, the mini Dow. So we'll just, you know, click on the Dow here and continuous. We'll do the continuous contract this time. Open it up. And there we have it. Now we have it, it is the December version of the Dow, but we just did open up a continuous contract for it. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Just a really quick tutorial to introduce to you guys how to open up brand new charts and of course how to replace existing contracts on previously open charts in further videos we are going to get into customization and a little bit of the order flow so stay tuned for that as always if you do have any questions please post them in the comment section below or head over to our community forum you can ask them over there as well please like this video if you found it helpful subscribe for, for future ATAS content and as always thanks for watching